Joining me now is Glenn Taylor of Widening Advancements for Youth. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Tell us about Widening Advancements. Widening Advancements for Youth is, is a, a, a new way of educating students utilizing um, personalized learning along with um, a blended platform where we're actually working with kids face to face as well as online, which gives us a lot of flexibility in really meeting them where they're at, moving them forward academically, but also accommodating what their schedules are. Um, we've traditionally worked very much with uh, students with risk factors in their lives across the state. Um, we currently partner with uh, around 100 districts through the partnerships that we have. 100 districts? Yes, um, and we come in as, a, as an alternative to um, what districts have been offering as options for students. So it's another way of reaching out and touching students that, that otherwise may not have had the options or had the access that they need. Now, explain it to me like I'm an eight-year-old. How does this work day to day? Right, so our students uh, all receive a, a mentor. Mm -hmm. So we have a six to one mentor ratio within the, within the program. Mm -hmm. uh, we have highly qualified staff that are wrapping around and co-creating content with students. So they're working on projects together uh, based on what students' interests are so we can take them and engage them very much in the, in the learning that's taking place. Uh, still meeting rigorous standards of, of where students need to go to be ready for college. Um, we also have team leaders that, uh, as we saw working with Tremaine earlier, um, that work with uh, students, 60 students at a time, but they do home visits and they connect with families and students. Uh, they really reach out and make sure they don't have any obstacles. They'll link them up to internship opportunities. Uh, really very much part of the community. Wow, that's um, a lot of work and you do this with volunteers? We don't do it with all volunteers. Okay. So uh, the network has uh, right now probably 400 certified teachers mm -hmm. uh, that work with kids online mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, the team leaders in the face-to-face -face labs uh, that we have around the state. And you're working with how many youth around Michigan? We currently service about 1,300 youth. Across the state? Across the state. Well, that sounds like a fantastic job and a lot of work. So I won't ask you a, a question as narrowly as what's happening in Detroit, <laughs> but you're obviously helping Michigan. So is this something that's unusual or is this the wave of the future? I, I, think, I think it will be the wave of the future because I think people will continue to find uh, links in, in how education can fit differently into the lives of the students that, that they're servicing to really make it as relevant as possible. Uh, we will be uh, opening our uh, offerings up to middle school students. We've typically been high school. Wow. Um, and we will be coming to uh, Detroit in the fall uh, in southwest Detroit. So Sounds we'll great. Site there as well. well, we're looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much for being with us.